So this is a seafood noodle soup for breakfast. <laughs> Can't go wrong with dumplings. <laughs> exactly. Mm. You like that one? The more I'm eating it, the more I'm enjoying it.你是否有想要追的剧却没有在台湾上映或播出的困扰呢？你是否搜够了鳄鱼软体和网络上鲷鱼的攻击呢？你是否有想要保护网络上饮食以及上网行径呢？以上的困扰通通都交给Surfshark
Ooh, that is soft. Oh, it's so good. Would you think of this as a breakfast food? Mm -hmm. Because of the ham and the eggs? The ham, yeah. the egg, the cheese. Mm, it's like a soft burrito. No, yeah, this is really good though. Wow. This is better than the dumplings. I really like this one. Really? Yeah. I like the doughy texture of the okay. outside of it and all the flavors. Like there's a lot of things in here, mm -hmm. but they're all very gentle. Mm -hmm. And so it's not overbearing at all. When you visit Taiwan, is this something you're gonna try? I'll try it, I'll try it all. <laughs> Except for stinky tofu, I don't know. <laughs> it reminds yeah. me of something like, um, like mochi. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It does kind of taste like an omelet, mm -hmm. but then it gives you that bread that kind of mm -hmm. like bready flavor. The I think cheese. the cheese and the egg and the ham is very, maybe like American, because it's kind of like a like a scallion pancake. Scallion pancake with an omelet. Yeah, inside. and then it's like, mm -hmm. oh wow, like, okay, that tastes really good. I like the sauce because it, I don't know another word than gentle, like marries everything well. Mm. But without it, it's super good too. Yeah. I would definitely eat this for breakfast. Yeah? Yeah. It's also like very, like a quick bite. Like, I want to try it like crispy too. I think I would maybe like if it's crispy and I don't like cheese. Oh. So I would just get no okay. cheese, okay. but it's really good. I'm gonna take some of these cucumbers. Cucumbers. These are pickled cucumbers, where they're not quite pickles, oh, but yeah. they're also like soaked in vinegar. And cucumbers make it good too. Yeah. Yeah. Give it that crunch you're looking for, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers is like Mexican food. They use a lot of cucumbers too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so it kind of reminds me of Mexican food as well. To break up the savory, we have two different drinks. This one is old fashioned black tea. And this one is the milk tea. So do you guys want to try the old fashioned first? Yeah. I've had it with boba, I think. <laughs> it's like chocolatey, I don't know why. Yeah, I get it. It's like a like the after. Yeah, after you swallow after it, it's yeah. like it's chocolate. chocolate. Mm, it, it tastes like chocolate milk. <laughs> you know, every single American that's tried it has said it tastes like chocolate milk. And there's no milk in this, right? There's it's no just milk. tea? Yeah. It tastes like cookies. <laughs> it tastes like cookies? <laughs> I feel like I got like a, a coffee aftertaste. It reminds me of just like a mocha coffee, mm. but not like coffee flavor. I usually, if I ever get black tea, I get unsweetened. But it's still, it's not overbearing, like yeah. it's not southern sweet here. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to try the milk tea? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I like that one. Yeah? Mm. The milk tea's good? The milk tea's very good. <clears throat> oh, does this one have milk? This one yeah, has milk. this one is the milk tea. Do you like this one better? I think I like this one a little bit better, but they're both they're both fair. It's kind of a little coffee-esque. Uh-huh, uh-huh. can see it. Would you use it as a coffee replacement? I would, yeah. Really? I'm not a coffee girl. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that one doesn't taste as sweet as that one, I feel. Yeah, it's not as sweet, but it's still good. So which one did you guys like better? I think I like the black tea better. Really? Yeah. Okay. I would like the black eating with this kind of food. Because right, right, right. it'll cleanse it. This one, I feel like I'll just have it like by itself. By itself as a drink, right? Yeah. Okay, so for your next dish, this is going to be more of an American thing. So this would be something out of like the Western kind. Yeah. It's sandwiches. Sometimes they'll have like hamburgers or french fries or like chicken nuggets. Like that's what they eat for breakfast. <laughs> Let's try oh, a man. breakfast sandwich. I have one. So this one is made with milk toast. So Ooh. it's going to be like oh. a lighter, sweeter type of bread. Oh, and then the meat is a super popular meat called sao rou. Cucumber and tomatoes and Cheers. egg. Cheers, guys. Mm. The flavors surprised me. Really? Yeah. Mm. You like that one? The meat is so good. Is that something you feel like you can eat for breakfast? No. No? I don't like the cucumber part. It kind of tastes sweet to me. Like for how much meat is in here, it's not overbearing at all. Mm -hmm. I feel like American breakfast sandwiches have sausage that will knock you in the next week. Like it's mm -hmm. so powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is still light mm -hmm. somehow with how much is in here. I like it. It's like sweet. Not like sweet like sugar, but like yeah. sweet. The bread is nice that it's not hard or like too mean? rough on your mouth. Yeah. I like the cucumber in it because there's like the crunch, you know? Uh -huh. It's funny that this sandwich is probably the sweetest thing we'll have today <laughs> or we've had yet. It's good, but I don't think I would order it though. Would you order it for like lunch? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's Something probably because we're just not used to eating sandwiches for breakfast, right? Maybe kind of throws you off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just throws me off a little bit. And you said what type of meat is this? Well, it's pork. Oh, it's pork? Yeah. yeah. Would you have guessed that? Mm -hmm. Or would you thought beef? Yeah, I would have thought, thought, thought beef. Because of the color, right? Because like, like I like pork, but normally it's not like my first choice of meat. Uh-huh. But that was good. Like yeah. normally I like yeah. I wouldn't think of it for like breakfast sandwich. So final thoughts on this one? Ten out of ten. Yeah, 11 right. out of 10. Yeah, yeah I would say 15 that. out of 10. Out of the three, this one's my favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go.
it's really high for me. And I feel like that the tomatoes and the cucumbers just shoot it up. Maybe I can appreciate a good sandwich with tomatoes. I just love it. You ready for the next one? I'm ready. Okay. So this is a seafood noodle soup for breakfast. <laughs> So nabiaki noodles are basically, it's a breakfast soup. There's gonna be like meat, there's gonna be vegetables, there's gonna be thick noodles, there's gonna be little surprises in there. <laughs> this one looks like you're a little bit concerned. <laughs> yeah, I guess seafood isn't my my realm, and Your especially not breakfast. for breakfast. <laughs> you know, it's funny, when I saw like sandwiches on the walls, I thought, oh, this is like a mixture, American, Taiwanese thing, but then, this is like straight up Taiwanese thing, and I'm like, uh -huh. why am I more nervous now? I can see the shrimp. That shrimp. I see the eyes. Does that bother you? Because it bothers me a little bit. A little bit. I only like it's, it's weird. I like yeah. coconut shrimp, but I've only had that like once, so, so I don't. So do you really. guys know how to peel shrimp? No. no. Okay, I'll peel it for you. Guys. I'm shocked by the flavor. Really? It's not as potent as it. <laughs> I don't know. It, it doesn't taste like seafood, the broth, as much as I thought. Mmm. Mm. Okay. That's good. Fish meatball. Too fishy? It's a little fishy, but I like fish though. Okay. <laughs> Are these egg noodles? Mm hmm. I remember from last time. From the hot pot? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I could eat this on a nice, cold, rainy day. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna Perfect say that. for the day, actually. Yeah, like if you're ever in the need of just something like warm and comforting, like soup, noodles. Okay, let's try this meatball here. Cheers. Cheers. This definitely has like more of a seafood taste, but I've started liking this texture a lot more. Yeah, the texture is very new to me mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. The noodles are a different texture too. Mm -hmm. There's like a little bit more of a bite to it or a mm -hmm. chew about mm -hmm. it. I like the texture of this one. Mm. Okay. So you just pull off the head, yeah. suck the head juices. I've never had shrimp and egg in for one breakfast. setting, no. Mm -hmm. This is interesting though, I like this. I probably wouldn't order this for breakfast though. Okay. But I would definitely order this for like some type of lunch or uh -huh. show somebody or whatever, you know? So when you first saw it, was it kind of a little bit scary? It was like, shocking mm -hmm. with the eyes staring up at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then soup, like you don't really eat soup for breakfast. Right. We don't. Especially yeah. not with shrimp too. Okay. This might be my first time trying shrimp, honestly. Really? So this is another different kind of fish cake. It's called sweet, not spicy. Cheers. <laughs> I like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a, a light flavor, mm -hmm. but the texture of it is like the fat of meat, so I feel wrong eating it. Mm -hmm. But it is, it's mm -hmm. good. I'm surprised mm -hmm. by it. I like the fish ball. The fish ball is kind of, it's like really soft. It's kind of like, like tofu a little bit. Really? Stinky tofu is bomb. Uh -huh. We should have had some stinky tofu. So when you guys go to Taiwan, we should do a video where everyone just tries stinky tofu. Yeah. <gasps> mm. hey. Like I said, I had coconut shrimp, but that was a couple years ago, so I don't really remember it. But I like that since it was in the soup, it's warm. Yeah. I don't think I would like cold shrimp. Yeah. I like it. it's like firm because normally I don't like things if they're too like squishy yes. or, or slimy. Yeah. Yeah. Like nice. texture. Wow, I'm very shocked. Because this is definitely something I would not order considering mm -hmm. two types of fish balls mm -hmm. and cakes and shrimp, but it's really good. The more I'm eating it, the more I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's nice and warm, oh, so sorry. I think I could find myself craving this in the morning, uh -huh. and it's nice that it's like oh, accessible. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, you're like, oh, I want to get noodle soup. So then you go to like the breakfast spot and you uh -huh. get it and you know they'll have it, uh -huh. which is nice. Honestly, it is a nice switch up from like regular breakfast. You know, right. you're like, I want breakfast food, but not like eggs or something. It's like mm -hmm. the noodle soup makes sense. So if you were to rank them from mm -hmm. your favorite, what would be number one to number four? I'd probably do egg pancake first, the dumplings, the sandwich, and then this soup. <laughs> I think for one would be the sandwich. Yeah. And then the second would be the dumplings. I would do this third and that egg omelet fourth. Egg pancake uh -huh. is one. The sandwich is two. Dumplings is three, but I really like them. But yeah. just, I'm familiar with this. Mm -hmm. And this says four. The sandwich and the egg pancake thing, those are like close, uh -huh. but like sandwich first and then the egg pancake thing. And then I would say soup and then the dumplings because dumplings like I'm familiar with. Yeah. So, but since these other three are like new to me, uh -huh. then I would rank those three first okay. and then the dumplings. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think my list would be exactly the same. I love the dumplings for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably put that at number one. And then my second would probably be the sandwich. The third would be the soup. Well, actually mine's completely different. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's definitely not the same. <laughs> and the fourth would be the egg pancake. Really? Just because I, I'm used to the way we eat it in the north, and mm. so it's kind of different for me. And I don't love like squishy textures. Uh, I like my like favorite. crispy. The only thing really I liked and I would come back just to order mm -hmm. was that um, 
the egg, yeah, almost like the pancake, the, uh -huh. that was good. I would definitely get that. I thought it was great. I want to come back here again. I, overall, I had a, a 10 out of 10 perfect score. I give it like no. the experience. Yeah, I'll give it's it like a, it's like a eight. Yeah. I, would, I would bring a Taiwanese girl here to impress her or something. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect from uh -huh. these breakfast. I thought maybe most of it would be similar to just like noodles or uh -huh. maybe rice, I don't know. But the sandwich and the egg pancake was a pleasant surprise uh -huh. and I will eat that all the time. Okay. Like I will come back for sure. Ultimately it was it was a pretty cool experience. It new was flavors. Good. New flavors. Yeah. It was good. I think all of it is nice. Like you want to come back for more. I like yeah. that all the breakfast foods are very light too. Yeah. Like they're not super heavy. Eat it either with friends or just by yourself. Yeah. But I it's still good. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. If you guys ever come to Taiwan, I'll take you for some yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you for coming. I hope you liked it. Mm -hmm. Do you have any final thoughts? I think I'm still surprised at how savory mm -hmm. the breakfast food is. Mm -hmm. I thought there would maybe at least be something sweet, but mm -hmm. the sweetest thing we had was this sandwich with meat in it. Yeah. <laughs> so they're savory, but still light mm -hmm. for the morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Yay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming. I had so much fun eating with you and I hope yeah. you liked it. And also Wendy will be in Taiwan. So if there's any kind of videos you want to see with Wendy, comment down below. Yeah. Luxury算是在美國非常道地的台灣味所以我覺得我們這一次讓他們吃到最道地的食物非常的開心最後想要跟大家分享就是Luxury今天有提供我們所有的食物所以給他們一個shoutout一下然後再跟你們分享就是他